Okay, in this video, I would like to show you our native um, the Things Network integration, and we start right away by logging in and creating a new API device. First of all, we give it a name, configure it, um, set some things like location, tags, a timeout, and most important thing is creating fields for the database. In this case, it's the DTH1 temperature and humidity sensor. Um, we add fields for temperature, humidity, battery, and the external temperature probe. Next is setting up the Things Network integration. We do this by entering the device ID and mapping the fields in the payload from your device to um, the fields from our database. And by saving it, it's all done. Next is creating a dashboard. Um, we do this by using our, what you see is what you get um, dashboard editor and configuring it. Um, and when we send values from the device, you can see that they are automatically being updated in real time to the dashboard. And now we're going to um, extend the dashboard by adding a new line and um, a simple um, gauge or um, a graph so that we can see a trend here. And we do this also by editing by our web interface. And as you can see, there is a few data already being shown. So now we're going to create a rule for sending SMS alerts. This is also pretty straightforward. You set a condition and a device and a text for your SMS. You could also do um, notifications like email or set outputs. So now let's go back into the configuration. The um, battery comes as voltage and we are going to map that to a percentage. This is pretty easy by using our mapping fields, which can be applied to existing database fields. We're going to extend the dashboard to show this in action. And when there is um, new data coming from the sensors, um, it's being applied in the mapping and the thing is going to be on the dashboard. Last but not least, last thing is KRED, which is our node red, um, managed node red in the cloud. And by using the TTN integration, you have um, the ability to bring your TTN devices into cloud hosted and managed node red simply by using data cake nodes. And as you can see here, when we send values, they are um, appearing in the node red. So that's it. That's the TTN integration. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.